Hello and welcome to Big Warwick Games unboxing video of the new Pokemon TCG XY11 Fates Collide Elite Trainer Box. My name is Simon and I'll be doing the unboxing today. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to get through this other thing, is just open this up and show you what you get inside an Elite Trainer Box. Now these are probably one of the most exciting parts, at least for me, for the releases of sets. I love these Trainer Boxes. Uh, they're amazing value for money. So you get in here, so you get your eight boosters. You get 65 sleeves, which uh, for this version is the Mega Alakazam, which is new to the set. You get 45 basic energy cards, which every Poke player needs. You get a, a guide to the set as well. You get six damage dice, you get a competition legal coin flip die, so it replaces a uh, coin that you'd normally flip which you get in things like themes and stuff, instead you're allowed to use this dice if you have one. Uh, you get the two acrylic condition markers for poison and burn. Uh, you also get this lovely box to hold everything in, which I'll show you as well. And you get a code online uh, for the online game, sorry, which you can use to get this online. So we'll open it up. So you've got this sleeve here, which also you can, if you can see there, you can open it up and it's got the artwork there from some of the breaks and the X's from the set. So these are really cool. If you're collecting the Elite Trainer boxes, you can open them up and sort of display them on your wall, etc. So the first thing you have here is the player's guide. So it's just a booklet, quickly explains the set and some of the combos in the set that are available. Also explains some of the new cards, the new Mega Evolutions, uh, just points out a few cards like Dancy um, and the Umbreon, etc. The top five trainer picks, N being a new reprint, <laughs> it's a new reprint, uh, X N being a reprint from previous set, who's a very loved card. And then you have a guide to all the cards in the set and these are really great if you've got a bit of time to kill or something keep a collection of these um, and you can sit and look through it and see all the cards in the set and they've got tick boxes as well to mark off if you're collecting them so these are really nice to have as a collector's piece of the player's guides so you have the box here so a bit of packaging let's get rid of that and again the box itself open it up so it's got these sort of spaces to keep the box open just to make it look nice again you don't need to keep those that small packaging and then what we have inside so take that one out quickly which is the code for the uh, elite trainer box we have our boosters here so we have eight boosters in the new set fates collide we have our 65 sleeves, so you've got 60 sleeves for your deck and then 5 replacements. As you can see the reverse side is this reflective, and on the front we've got the Mega Alakazam, looking very radiant and cool there. Then we have our 65 basic land pack, uh, sorry, basic energy, sorry, magic term, basic lands. Uh, 65 basic energies, which you only get basic energies in things like theme decks and in base sets, so the XY base set had uh, basic energies in it. This is one of your best ways to get hold of them. Outside of the Elite Trainer Box is the Elite Deck Shield Tins, uh, which you also get basic energies in. But always useful, especially if you want to keep building decks uh, time and time again. You also get these little cardboard dividers, so if you want to store your collection in here, these are really cool. Helps you divide the cards up, put little labels on the top, etc. So again, just nice if you want to organize your collection, or if you're like me, you're just going to throw them all in the box, unfortunately. <laughs> Then we have our true two acrylic special condition tokens. They're very nice, high quality, nice and thick. Um, they're just really cool to have, very useful to use as well, better than the uh, cardboard ones you get in the theme deck, so keep a hold of those. And then we have our dice. They're always color coded to the Elite Trainer Box, so we've got these purple ones here. They say the six for representing damage, and then your tournament legal, uh, coin replacement die. So you can use this instead of coin flip, so odds and evens or high or low, etc. You, you and your opponent can choose. And then you've got the box in there. You've got another little dividing piece in here. This is mostly storage. You could use it if you wanted to to help divide up um, some of your collection, but generally speaking, I usually throw that bit as well. And then once you put the lid back on, you have a lovely storage solution for all of your brand new Fates Clyde cards. Which, speaking of, would be remiss of me not to at least open these boosters. So, 
I'm not going to go into a great deal on all of the cards we get in there. I'm mostly going to rip through them and then just see what cool stuff we have. If there's anything in particular I think I want to highlight, then I will. Oh, Reverse Hollow, Cincino, cool. Moltres, uh, Normal Cincino, Fairy Drop, and Loudred. Uh, if you want to see more sort of like more in-depth look at booster opening, check out my booster box opening video where I uh, spend a bit more time going through all the different Pokemon. I quite like Silasis and his evolutions because they have the links and each one's a different named link, but they do more damage for each version you have available on your bench. So this one does 30 additional damage for having more Silasis, and the other ones get 60 and 90, so you can end up doing quite a lot of damage with the big guys later on. Oh, reverse Hollow Fennekin, Armor Star, Wigglytuff, Ordino Spirit Link, and a random receiver, which has a pretty picture of Professor Sycamore on there. Uh, on to the third pack. Let's take a look and see what we've got in here. So there's a Fennekin, Cathedra, Spoink, which unfortunately I'm going to say is one of my most disliked Pokemon ever. Um, Pinnacle. Oh, nice. Reverse Hollow Superior. Yeah, Tyranitar, Fan Club, Wormadan, and the Tempcent Zygarde. Zygarde featuring quite heavily in this set, as you can see from the cover of the boosters. He's got his Tempcent 50% and complete forms in different cards. His complete form being an EX, which are the big shiny cards. So Diglett, a Lavatar, a Carbink. I really like the Carbink because of his ability, Safeguard. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by your opponent's EX. So this is really good at hosing out your opponents if they're running these EX heavy decks, which are very common these days to have decks which are full of EX Pokemon. So Carbink just completely shuts them down and stops them being effective. We have a Snorlax. Snorlax going particularly well with the previous set, actually. If you were to run the Hypnos, who has the ability Goodnight Babies, who can put both Pokemon to sleep as an ability, and then Toss and Turn is 30 damage for 3 energy, but it can be used even if Snorlax is asleep, and if he is, it does 90 more damage. So it's 120 damage, and your opponent will be asleep. Win-win. Um, Shauna... Oh, and Strong Energy is one of the special energies from the set, so that's cool. Uh, really useful for boosting up your fighting types. So, on to the fifth pack here. Oh, cheeky sneak preview there. That looks like a break to me. So we'll get there in a moment. So Coughing, Rincino, and we have a Bronzong break. Cool. Uh, the Cario, Devolution Spray, Omelite, and Lass's special there. So bronze on break, so this the breaks go over the top of the Pokemon. Um, they replace their HP and add a ability, you sort of use them to, I know this isn't bronze on, but you place them over the top like so, and they just add an additional ability or attack, and then increase the HP as well usually. And this one is Metal Rain, which for steel and colorless, no initial damage, but you can discard as many Steel Energy attached to the Pokemon as you like, and for each one you've discarded, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon and do 30 damage to it. As always, don't apply uh, Winters and Resistance. So this is really good at spreading 30 damage out across the board. Uh, you can just ping off loads of your opponent's Pokemon, or snipe a bit of damage onto them, weaken them for later turns. Like, it's a really interesting Pokemon to use. Another sneaky peek there, that looks like uh, an EX to me. So, Snowball, Mincino, Bronzor, and we have a, oh nice, Mega Alakazam EX. So, just to go through the rest, and Helix Fossil, or Dino. So, we've got the big guy from the cover in our box. That's, that's pretty cool. So, Mega Alakazam EX, so this evolves from the new Alakazam EX from the set. 210 HP, he's a psychic type, and he has one attack called Zen Force. So it's a Psychic and a Colorless to do 10 plus damage, and it does 30 damage more for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So Bronzong was a good example of passing damage counters around, but when you evolve Mega Evolve Alakazam, he has an ability that states, when you Mega Evolve him, put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon and three on one of their benched Pokemon, Thus, Mega Alakazam can start hitting them pretty hard with his Zen Force, and that's only going to get stronger the more your opponent gets damaged. So, and with 210 HP, he's going to be hanging around for a while. So, 
very cool card and it goes beautifully with the sleeves from this box set so I'm uh, very happy to have pulled that there so let's take a look at the next booster so Dinning, Jigglypuff, Cathedra, Meowth, Snivy we have a Brazen, Mr. Mime, Ultra Ball, Servine and Energy Reset and that one puts as many energy attached to your Pokemon as you like into your hand. Really good if you think your Pokemon's going to be taken out next turn or something's going to be done to it so you can get the energy back rather than lose it. And then we're on to our final booster from the box. Here's hoping we get another really shiny card. So, Carney, Burmy, Lavatar. As you can see, Meowth, Coughing, Reverse Hollow, Superior, Loudred, Exam Spirit Link. Oh, that's useful. That'll go nicely with my Mega Relic Exam. And then we have the Wormadan as well. So there's everything I've pulled from the boosters from this. So I've pulled a Break, Bronzong, and the Mega Alakazam EX. Um, so I'm pretty happy. Two out of eight boosters. I've gotten some pretty cool cards from there. There's some nice reverse hollows in here as well. I've almost got, a, I just need the Del Fox reverse hollow to get the full evolution chain there as well, which would be quite cool. So, that is everything you get in an Elite Trainer pack. Now, if you can get a hold of one of these, grab them. They are fantastic. Um, they're only available on release, however, so uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So if you can get an Elite Trainer box, grab one. They're fantastic value. Definitely for new players, for experienced players, collectors, I recommend these to everyone because they're just so cool to have, really good to store your collections in, etc. I love the Elite Trainer boxes. One of my favourite products that gets made for the TCG. So there we go, that is everything. So remember, all the cards you've seen here today can be bought and sold on our website individually on bigorbitcards.co.uk. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.